The loss of something in the water and the patriotic festival is certainly a big blow to the bottom line of Virginia Beach's bread and butter, tourism. A lot of people say there's a lot of blame to go around for the lost opportunities hitting the resort city. Today, your side's Andy Fox is looking into the beach's problems with keeping events. I think you know there's, there's a strong sense of despair on Atlantic Avenue. Since 1947, Richard Maddox's family has done business on Atlantic Avenue. There's nobody at the helm. There's no master plan. Here's their first Dairy Queen back in 1949. Today, their Dairy Queen at 17th and Atlantic is one of the highest grossing in the country. We lost all of our senior and middle management in the city. We lost our city manager. Maddox is also a former Virginia Beach City Councilman. We lost our police chief. We lost our zoning administrator. We lost our convention visitor de uh, developer. Maddox isn't happy, and he has a lot to say about lost events. He thinks Virginia Beach's biggest problem, staff departures, taking memory and history, which has created a toxic bureaucracy. The culture of, of, of getting things done, the culture of developing and evolving a product that people want, um, has, gone, uh, has gone on the wayside. Maddox knows that culture shift was one of the reasons why the Patriotic Festival hit the road to Norfolk. We used to be the city that had a mentality of, f of reaching out to events like this and facilitating them and saying, what is it you need to make it happen? To Maddox's point, we've seen text messages where festival organizer Ira Agricola expresses that frustration. The special event permit process in Virginia Beach involves all the departments. Virginia Beach became too bureaucratic, difficult, a city of no instead of a city of yes. We had these meetings, you know, it, we wanted it to be more of a give and take, you know, we wanted it to be more. Was it not so? A lot of times it wasn't. Is something in the water dead in the water? As of, per, as of right now. Mayor Bobby Dyer admitted to 10 on your side's Regina Mobley. Virginia Beach has lost momentum after Pharrell canceled his Something in the Water music festival due to what Pharrell called Virginia Beach's toxic energy. We're going to be known as that inclusive, welcoming community. We have a lot of work to do to build some bridges. What has taken so long? Uh, I mean, we have had these discussions for two or three or four years now, and I mean, again, deeds, not words. Whatever negative perceptions that are going to be out there, we're going to overcome, and we're not only going to survive, we're going to thrive. Clearly, we do not have that national reputation right now, and I don't see anything aggressively happening to change that. This should give us a chance to really reassess our whole program. Well, here's something aggressive, positive. As the city of Norfolk was signing the new agreement with a patriotic festival, newly appointed Virginia Beach Councilman Linwood Branch was there at the signing looking for event options to complement the amazing success at the Virginia Beach Sports Center. Well, we have some holes to fill now, uh, obviously, with uh, the events that have left, and so our event contractors were here today, and we'll be talking with them about what we can do to, to fill that in. I'm Andy Fox, 10 on your side.